How nice was it to, to get one like this? You know, you guys have had so many this year where, where that has flipped the other direction. Yeah, we were due. We were due for a, you know, a, one of these tight games to go our way. Um, but the guys earned it. I mean, it didn't just happen. Steph made an incredible shot. Um, Brandon made a, a fantastic pass on that play. Reading, um, you know, Bradley Beal um, jumping the passing lane and he got it past him. And, you know, defensively, we, we battled the whole game. I mean, these days, you know, you hold somebody to 112. It sounds crazy, but it's the modern NBA. Um, with those shooting percentages, um, you know, we'll, we'll take it. So the, the defensive improvement, I think, these last couple weeks is, is going to help us close out games like this. Uh, on that, just last sequence, um, what did you think of, I guess, the foul call? Did you know at the time you, you had one to give? And, um, you know, just what do you think of that? Yeah, we knew we had one to give, but um, you know, we 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 didn't want to foul. I mean, you know, we've sort of uh, you know, we've had our our share of difficulties down the stretch in in those situations. So it was really just be aggressive. Um, you know, we had Gary on the ball trying to disrupt the pass. Um, I thought it was a tough call when I saw the replay. Uh, didn't really look like a foul. I thought uh, Devin. Hooked uh, Wiggs to start with, um, but in the end, probably a no call. But um, the fact that we had one to give um, obviously um, saved us. How much did uh, Gary re Gary's return sort of impact that you guys are trending in the right direction defensively? But where, where did you see his impact the most? His defense, just his uh, his speed and on ball pressure. Um, you know, we had him on Kevin quite a bit. Um, you know, he just uh, as soon as he got in the game, you know, he. Um, Got the fast break dunk, and uh, or I guess it was out of a pick and roll, like immediately, and then um, knocked down a three. And you know, you just feel his uh, presence out there, and that's why he's such a fan favorite because he's electric. You you know, you just as soon as he gets in the game, you 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 just feel how impactful he is, and it's great to have Gary back. Draymond, 15, 7, and 9 in his matchup with Nurk. Just what kind of energy did he give you guys tonight along with the production? Draymond was amazing. Um, he's been amazing ever since he came back. Um, just everything, the ball movement, the, the rebounding, uh, the scoring tonight, um, you know, with the floor spread, he got to the rim several times, made some big big baskets for us. But it's the leadership and the belief and the competitive desire that makes Draymond uh, special. And... Um, so he was brilliant tonight. Before the game, we were you were talking about how you don't want Draymond to be a goody two shoes. You want him to have the fire toe the line. Was this what we saw from Draymond tonight? Just kind of that line that you want to see him toe. If he's getting into it with Nurk, he's yelling in Katie's face. He does get a T, but kind of keeps it somewhat yeah. together. Yeah, we we need him competitive. You know, Draymond, uh, if he's passive, we might as well not play him, right? Everything with him is about his force and his energy and his competitiveness. And so it makes him unique and makes him the great player that he is. Uh, so we don't want him to, uh, you know, walk the line. Uh, you know, we do want him to walk the line, but um, we, we just don't want him to be passive at all. So a technical, I'm fine with, you know, a flagrant foul, it's fine. Just, um, but he, he's got to stop right there, and that's, that's what he did tonight. Steve, to Kendra's point, late in the game, and, and you had all the emotion with Draymond and Nurk, but he, uh, Nurk seemed like he, he hit Draymond pretty good. Late, you're almost waiting for a reaction. He doesn't react. I think the next three plays, he's got two layups at the rim, an oop to Kaminga. Um, and, and then defending KD at the end. Just is, are those moments for you still, do you hold your breath a little bit to, to hope that he doesn't you know, go the other direction? And, and how big was that? Um, not really, to be honest with you, because we've been together 10 years. Um, and I've watched him um, for the vast majority of that time do what he, exactly what he did tonight. Um, you know, obviously, um, this past year, he's he's had uh, several incidents where he crossed the line, um, but um, I just you know he, he that month off that suspension was was real. You know I think more than anything, um, Draymond felt vulnerable. He knew that um, his career was on the line or is on the line. A really smart guy. You know he's a very smart guy. So he's. Um, he understands uh, he's got to be the guy he's been for the last nine years, you know, not the one he's been the last, you know, 
last year, and um, I see him doing that. Hey, Coach. Tonight, both Brandon Pajemski and Lester Quinones had some takes where they were able to beat their defender to the basket, weren't able to close the shot. How do you as a coach and them developing their game evaluate those type of takes and let them know, is that the right take at the time that they took it or is it you just missed the shot, it's fine? Yeah, we watch we watch tape with these guys every day, and um, one of the reasons Lester is in our rotation is because of his speed and athleticism and ability to get past people and you know knock down difficult shots. And um, so he's been playing really well, um, but he's a very young player and he's still growing and still learning. So um, all part of the process, we'll watch all of his minutes with him. Um, he will uh, see the, the plays that he. You know where he maybe should have done something different, um, but you know it's, it's you, the only way to to learn is to go through it, and this is his time to go through it. Thank you, guys. Wonderful career. Enjoy retirement, uh, and just live your life and have fun. All right. Good dirt. Good work. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who wants to kick it off? I'll kick it off. Slater will. Huh. Oh, or that's the ladies. No, ladies first. Thank you, All right. Gary. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, how do you feel? Great. About time. <laughs> it's been about three months in rehab, so I've been itching and uh, just ready to get out there and help my teammates and you know, and just play the right way, have fun with it. When you visualize tonight coming back on the court, what was the, what was the thing that you wanted to accomplish the most out there? Well, I just bring energy and effort. Uh, um, just that pop off the off the bench, you know, that we had in the beginning of the season, uh, and just come back and you know just energize, just try to energize the team and get us going defensively. And once that happens, uh, it's kind of hard for it to, for the for anybody can stop us offensively. So just come out and bring a spark to the you know defensive side. I know a hamstring is kind of a tricky injury. How difficult was the last month getting to the point where you felt good, you know, playing the way that you played? Uh, I was just knowing, just you got to take it day by day, you know. It's just going to take time to get right. So once we pass that threshold, you know, where the pain was, we were basically going to manageable and just get after it and strengthen it. I had strength, so we just kept, you know, I just kept playing every day until I felt I was ready. How different does this team that you're coming back to feel? The way you're playing, the starting lineup, small ball, obviously you guys got momentum. Just how different does it feel? Uh, we just got back to what we was doing in the beginning of the season. You know, We got away from it a little bit. Um, but um, I think we're starting to understand, get our connectivity back, and you know, get our communication back. And you know, once we do that, uh, everything will flow well. I think we're like the first, I mean, first in de half court defense in the last 10 games. So you know, we just got to build on that and keep going. What's uh, going through your head when Steph is getting that inbound pass, spinning and throwing up that shot? Let's go home. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> you, you mentioned let's go home, but the, you know there was drama after that with the, you know the foul and the review and you know basically. Yeah, we, we, but we were still able to go home. And just all we needed is one stop. They called what they called. You know, get another one. So he got another one by a big two three. So that's what he does and. Like I said, let's go home. Did you know you had a foul to give? I mean, that ended up kind of saving you guys. Uh, yeah, we did, but we wasn't trying to use it. They only had point seven, so it was just like try to get a deflection. I missed the ball on the inbounds. I usually get a deflection, but I got to be better there. Get my man in the blue. Gary. Right, ladies. Hi, Gary. So definitely your comeback and the win is the best gift for all the Chinese fans who celebrated the Chinese New Year. Do you have any Chinese New Year wishes for them? Happy Chinese, um, happy Chinese New Year's. <laughs> uh, and yeah, just uh, be great. Um, be yourself and you know, just keep grinding, keep striving, whatever you're doing, uh, and just live life. Nice, nice. We wish you a healthy season as well. Thank you. What did you see from Draymond tonight, just both you know, in terms of his production and then also what he gave you guys emotionally? No, it's just Draymond being Draymond, you know. I love it. I love to see it. I love to see him barking, you know, fighting. Uh, that's just him, you know. This is the nature of him, competitor. Uh, he's great. I love it. It gets me fired up, and I'm sure it gets everybody else fired up. So, you know, once he gets going, uh, I think everybody just should just follow, you know, and just have his back and bring that same intensity, 
You don't got to, you know, talk like him, but just bring the same intensity. Hey, Gary, how much do you relish, I guess, the opportunity to defend guys like Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal, Devin Booker? Oh, I, that's what I'm here for. Uh, it's the funnest part of the, you know, the game, you know, guarding superstars, trying to make it difficult, tough for them, uh, make them think, you know, um, and it's great. You know, we got Utah and then we got the Clippers, so, you know, it's I'm excited for the next couple games before the break, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Oh, you guys are great. Have a great day. Did uh did you see Beal jump in the passing lane and was the way that pass kind of veered? Was that purposeful? Uh yeah, just however I could get the ball to Steph. Um Booger kind of played off me. It was just like in center field, so I kinda had a clean vision of where Steph was gonna be, but um Draymond, he actually screened Beal, and Beal got through it. So he kind of shot the gap, and I kind of – I should have asked the ref before if I could throw it in the backcourt. Um, so I didn't know, so I just tried to f – forgot a play from, like, half court, that little window I had to, to get on the ball, um, and we made it happen. Did you – when you let it go, did you think it was accurate, or did you think it would be tough? If you look on the replay, I'm like, ah, shit. Yeah. Um, but – um, I don't know. I just try to get to him, no matter how long it took. I was only throwing the ball to him um, and let him do what he does. How difficult of a shot do you? I mean, can you imagine that is, which is kind of like the lefty stab and, and turn around? It's uh, very difficult. Um, only a shot that uh, you know I think he would take. A regular person would probably catch and take a dribble or something like that. But um, you know, the confidence he plays with is on a different level than anybody else. Um, just the way the defense has been trending since Draymond has come back has, has been going up. But w how much does Gary's return also change the energy? Yeah, it adds another piece to the puzzle. Um, another guy that guards um, both individually and as a team defender. And you know, I think tonight we just are trying to get in, into book and KD and Bradley Beal and really make us feel us. Um, because if you let them play like a workout, they're going to shoot 70% every game. And I think for the most part we did. We were able to rotate bodies uh, between me, Gary, and, and Les off the bench um, to guard those guys. And I think over time it wore them down. Um, you know, credit to them, though, at the end, they made a push and made some tough shots. Brandon, it seemed like, especially tonight, you were really, really trying to push the pace mm -hmm. even after makes. Is that something you're looking to do? 100%. Um, you know, when I come in for uh, Clay, um, I try to just get the ball and let Andrew and Jonathan play in open space. Um, that's where they're best at. So anytime I can get it out the rim on a make, um, you know, off a miss. After the Indiana game, I look back at our film and kind of watch how TJ McConnell did the same thing for them. And, uh, you know, me and TJ are different players, but it was something that I could replicate. And um, seeing that, just seeing how good Jonathan and Andrew are in open space um, was definitely a point for me to get them the ball early and let them, you know, go to work. How important is it for you guys to get one like this? You know, I mean, you, you played well lately, but you had so many this season that you've lost. Uh, it's very important. Um, you know, Steph has hit several shots like that down the stretch this year, and we, we haven't been able to close it out on the defensive end. So it's very important for us to get those stops down the stretch and make sure we close the game out. And also coming back off the road, I think we built some momentum on the road. So you want to make sure you come back and, and um, take care of the ones at home that you can. How fearful were you, though, with that foul situation late? Um, I wasn't fearful at all. I knew I didn't make contact. Uh, I mean, even the the Wiggins. <laughs> oh, I mean, well, that's uh, I knew we had a foul to give there, so I was I wasn't worried about the foul at all um, when they called that on Wiggs. You know, I knew we only had two team fouls, so I thought it was actually the smartest play you could make. The last time you guys played the Suns is when you had the incident with, with Yusuf, and tonight you guys are going back and forth to small celebrations, all that stuff. I mean, is that just kind of the, the fire that you like? And when you're in the midst of it, does it ever kind of come into your mind of, okay, Draymond, take it up to here 
and then we leave it at that line? No, nah, because I didn't take it anywhere. Um, you know, they called a file on the post up and he started talking. Never backing down from that. I like that type of action. What did you think of the too small celebration that, that you, you seem to get him back? You can't get bullied a couple plays later if you're going to do that. <laughs> you can't be a nothing defender if you're going to do that. So, you know, you, you're going to do all of that. You, man, will probably outweigh me by 70 pounds. And you get put in the rim, got to be more careful. Uh, defensively, you guys have been sort of trending up since you came back, but what kind of energy does Gary bring that changes things? Uh, a lot of energy. Uh, G's <clears throat> has some of the quickest hands in the league, uh, gets a ton of deflections. The ball pressure that he brings um, is absolutely amazing. You know, you can put G on the other team's best player and he's going to make it tough on them. And as a defender, that's all you hope for, uh, to make guys take tough shots and you live with the results. And so... Um, you know, but it's also good to have G offensively as well. You know, G does a lot of things offensively that no one necessarily gives him credit for. And, um, you know, he he's just knows how to find the right spot. And so uh, G was real big for us tonight. Dre, I do wonder, were you in a different headspace at all because it was Nurk and just that connection to the, the game prior? And when he's testing you like that, pretty obviously just trying to get under your skin, you got the moment when – you know, you, you get the offensive foul and you're pointing at your head, saying you're going to think this thing through. And then late, seems like he checks you and then hits you. Oh, no, you. I, was, uh, I was saying he was a dummy uh, <laughs> when I was pointing to my head. I wasn't necessarily Appreciate saying. Appreciate the clarification. Yeah, I wasn't necessarily saying. Uh, I, I was keeping my head. I was saying, uh, you can't start talking and charging to me. That's not smart. Right. So. And then late, it, it did seem like he hit you. You don't retaliate. You got two layups at the rim. You, I think, find Kaminga for the oop. You know, in terms of composure, it, you just know right then, like, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to try to win this game. He was hitting me a lot today. Uh, you should go back and watch the film. Just, like, key in on him and look at him. It was a lot of little cheap shots. But, uh, you know, I knew his goal was to get me out the game. Uh, no one wants to see me in the game. That makes the game a lot tougher. And so, um, but I'm not. That's... It'd take a pretty good ish talker or to to get me to do that. I mean, that's just too obvious, you know. So it's okay. It was a fun game. Real quick follow team wide. This is six out of seven uh, defense coming in tonight. I think since the start of the month was was fourth in the league and another good night tonight. Are you starting to see the direction of what it could be? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I think we're doing a really good job of uh, playing great team defense and flying around. And then we're also, I think, uh, doing a pretty good job of uh, rebounding the basketball. Uh, and I think, you know, that's 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 the key for us. You know, you can get all the stops you want uh, or force all the misses you want. Uh, but if you're not able to get the rebound, you know, it makes it a lot tougher. And for us, we also understand that if we are able to rebound, then we get off to the races and it's hard for teams to keep up with the speed that we have out there on the floor. So, um, you know, it's it's a concerted effort uh, for, from every guy that steps on the floor uh, to make sure that we're defending uh, and, and making it tougher on the other team to score and, uh, and then also making sure that they fill us. Hey, Drama, over here. Um, sorry to keep bringing up Nurkic, but he said after the game that he felt that your antics tonight proves that you didn't learn anything. I'm just wondering if you had any response to that. I mean, I thought I was pretty great tonight, honestly. <laughs> um, you know, so I thought, you know, he tried to get in my head and it didn't work. If he want me to walk around quiet like him, I'm never going to do that. Quiet guys don't win. Um, so, yeah, I thought I was pretty great tonight. Uh, so, yeah, he can keep riding the same horse that he came, rode in on. He can ride his ass on out here on the same horse. It ain't working. Just a quick follow-up. Uh, what have you learned? Sorry, Adam. I didn't mean to curse. That just slipped out. Oh, my God. Sorry. Uh, what have you learned since your suspension? That when I'm in the game, we are a very good basketball team. Incredible. Um, 
And I think people are starting to see that. So that's what I've learned. Draymond, back here. What do you like about what you're seeing on this sheet? Um, out rebounding a team that's supposed to have a bunch more size than us, 52 uh, to 41. Um, you know, you, you hold that team to 45 from the field and 31 from three. That's a team with three of the best scorers in the NBA. Uh, and, you know, to do that defensively, I thought was absolutely incredible. Um, you know, the points off turnovers were pretty much a wash. Uh, you know, if we can control that, uh, that's that's always a key for us. Uh, second chance points, 21 to 13. Thought that was a big thing. You know, it just shows that the energy that we brought to the game was there. And, um, you know, it was a fun game to play in. I think everybody who came in stepped up to the challenge. And, uh, you know, that was um, key to why we were able to pull out the win. And yet, you know, I don't think we, we – I thought we missed a lot of shots that we could still make, you know, some open looks that – you know, some bunnies that we missed. And so, uh, you know, it was good effort by us tonight. Hey, Draymond, you had that uh, a three-pointer early. Right here, sorry. Three-pointer early, a couple finishes through Nurk, that fake DHO at the end when he went between your legs, obviously. That was nice. Yeah, that was nice. That was, ooh, that was smooth <laughs> right there, boy. Uh, you did what you do as a playmaker. Just how comfortable are you feeling offensively, individually right now? I'm confident, you know, and uh, I think, you know, it's important. You know, my teammates have the utmost confidence right now in me on the offensive end. My coaching staff, you know, Kenny's like, Draymond, keep shooting threes, keep shooting threes. I'm like, all right, I got you. But, you know, I'm never going to just – Chuck a bunch of threes. It's just not who I am. But um, I feel like I'm in a good groove, you know, finding my uh, rhythm. And, you know, I think our team is finding a good rhythm. So I think it's coming together for us at the right time. You know, we got, what, three more games before the All-Star break. Uh, I think it's important that we make sure we, we roll into the All-Star break so we can roll out of the All-Star break. You know, you don't want to stumble in come out trying to gain momentum. I think we have some good momentum right now. We need to make sure we keep that going. Is that How difficult was that? Not just the last shot, but just like, you know, the catch turn. She like everything that went into that last shot. Uh, knowing the play we were gonna run, you just try to get to open space however you can. It's just talking to BP, like Draymond set a good screen, and they, uh, Katie and and Brad switched. And Brad kind of tried to you know lunge for the steal. BP made a put a, enough on it, so it kind of took two hops that I could figure out where the ball was coming, where the defense was, and how to turn into it. And at that point, it's just muscle memory, just shoot it, and uh, you, you live with it. And thankfully, it worked out. And obviously, on the other end, you want to celebrate right then. But you know, the way our season's gone, 0.7 seconds uh, felt like an eternity. Thankfully, we had a foul to give. Draymond made a great play. Wiggs made a great play, too. Didn't think it was a foul, but Draymond, on the second try, so I'm glad to get the win. Uh, hi, Steph, and uh, um, congratulations on 13 for 13, and uh, happy Tr Dragons New Year's. Yeah, and I want to ask this question for Chinese fans, and do you want do you have any plan on the on China this summer, and do you have want to say anything to Chinese fans? <laughs> about New Year's or anything? Um, I was born in the year of the Dragons, so it's a cool year uh, for that celebration. But I'm, I'm coming in September, so yeah, excited. What kind of lift did, did Draymond give you guys tonight? He's given us a lift every game he's been back. <clears throat> he connects, obviously, our defense. But you saw what he did. Um, you could talk about his defense every game, but all he did offensively tonight, especially in the fourth quarter, um, you know, the lob, the JK, the 
and the keep he had, I think he had two of them actually. And one of them, we were running around all crazy, and he, some nice ball handling, got to the to the glass. So he was a threat on offense as well. So, and he gave us great energy in the sense of that competitive spirit that you need to win a game like tonight to meet the moment. Um, and I know everybody's going to talk about what Nurkic said or how idiotic that was, but just the fact that Draymond knows how to walk the line that he needs to walk. This is probably the best game that you've seen it, where he can be loud and fiery and competitive and you know jaw back and forth. But we're playing basketball, and if you didn't see that tonight, then you ain't watching you know watching the game. Following up on Draymond's energy and, and stuff, when he is able to find that line and, and engage in the trash talk and that competitive nature, do you see it kind of fuel his own personal game as well on offense and defense, not just you guys around him? Yeah, just that's his identity. That's who he is as a basketball player. It'd be like me running out there not shooting threes. Like it's a part of you know who you are. So I know he it's been a delicate situation. He's trying to figure that out and not let it spill over because we can't have that, and he knows that. We can't afford to, you know, let it get out of control. But it fuels him because he lives for those moments where, you know, it's it's just how we're going to win this game, and I'm coming at you, and you got to go through me. And you've seen that <clears throat> in the best of moments for sure. So we want to encourage him to keep doing that. Hey, Steph, uh, getting Gary back, what does that give you guys that you were previously lacking when he was injured? Uh, I mean, first and foremost, it's a point of attack defender that you know, I don't care what type of offensive player you are, you have to worry about where he is. He's you know great on the ball. And it's another like wing defender that we can have. He's pretty versatile. And then you saw right away his energy um, in the pocket on pick and rolls, you know, cutting off the back uh, rotations on offense, hit a big three. They're just timely plays that you need, and no matter how many minutes out there he's out there, he he makes his presence felt. And like I said, you just somebody if you're trying to score on us, you got to know where GP is, and he's gonna make it tough on you. So. It's uh, it was great to have that boost for tonight, especially with you know three guys on that that side that are amazing one on one, you know scores, and you got to have guys that love those challenges. You didn't seem to like what, what Nurkic had to say about Draymond. I mean, what what about it? Well, it's easy to what's the analogy? Like throw stones. Up. Across the, across the way, we have no idea what you're talking about, especially when you kind of are on the, on the wrong side of it tonight. So you can tell when somebody's in your head when you go out of your way to you know celebrate. And he did that little too small thing and smacked the floor. Funny how the rest didn't see that one. And then you know Draymond comes back at him. So all the talk, Draymond was in his head, plain and simple. So. Uh, like I said, for Draymond to be able to, knowing what happened last time we played him, give him all the credit. Like everybody talks about how much Draymond needed to change and figure it out and what he was doing during the suspension and all that. Tonight was exactly the playbook of how you, you play basketball at a high level. So um, I loved it. Steph, to, to that point, over here on the right, you know, and with your relationship with Draymond, and the lows you had this year and everything you guys have been through, is there a different kind of satisfaction and joy when you see him walk the line, you see the impact he has on the game, you see him maintaining who he is? He's not hes not putting that away. You get the win. I mean, is this in terms of the way the last couple of months have gone and, and to see it start coming on the up like this, does that feel pretty good? For sure. And it's mostly – him living up to his word, um, the conversations we had when he was out and how he felt in those moments where he knew what he needed to do to, to the end of the day, we just need him available. 
you know, you've seen the difference in our team when he's he's out there on a consistent basis and he's playing and feeling like himself. So we're uh, a different team without him and with him. And he knew and still knows um, what he needs to do consistently to put himself in the best shape mentally and physically to go out there and play basketball and be the Draymond Green that, you know, has helped us win championships. And I'm going to keep encouraging him to do that because you see the results. And it's, it's fun to watch. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely.